hello guys and welcome to this new power bi tutorial in this video i'm going to create this interactive sales dashboard as you can see we are going to create different kpis we have a slicer so for different regions we will have bar charts we have two donut charts and we create an area chart this is the data set that we are going to use in our tutorial and you can find this link to download it in the description you can also find the link to download this data set direct from my github repository as you can see here in the description so the data set represents some sales data generated for practice purposes only right so this is not real data from a real company but only data that we are going to use in order to practice and create some functions or some measures in power bi as you can see we have different columns we have product id we have the date sale date we have sales representative we have the region mainly we have four regions sales amount quantity sold product category unit cost and unit price so these two columns will allow us to calculate the revenue and also the profit we have the types so customer type the discount the percentage we have nine percent eleven percent twenty percent etc we have payment method cash bank transfer right or credit card sales channel online or retail and we have region and sales representative together so we have north bob west bob south david etc so for me i already imported the data set as you can see here we have here all the columns to import it you click on insert text csv right and you see here your data set as table right so once we import data set we have four measures to create so we have the revenue we have the profit the profit percentage okay and we have the costs right so we start with the revenue as you can see the function in here so revenue equals to sum x right this is the table so the name of the table which is sales data and after the comma we put our colors so we have the unit price okay then we multiply by the number of units and then we multiply by the discount so we use the column sales data unit price multiplied by sales data quantity sold so basically sales data is the name of the data set multiplied by one minus the discount so for example if the discount 20 percent so the price will be 80 percent multiplied by the total right so this is for the revenue next we have the cost so basically the cost we have same thing cost equals to sum x we have our data set right and we multiply the total units by the cost of each unit right so we have sales data unit cost multiplied by sales data quantity sold in order to create the profit so basically the profit equals to the revenue the measure that we have created in here minus the costs right and to calculate the percentage we divide the profit by the revenue so we have profit in percentage equals to profit divided by the revenue right so these are the four measures that we will need in order to create our dashboard so basically i will click on new page right and here we start by creating our kpis for this dashboard we want to put the background in gray so click on visualizations format background and here we put it for example in gray like that transparency 50 percent all right next we have cards so we start with the revenue right so got to format that start with values you put it as 20 and the label as 9 and also we add the border 20 white all right now paste that copy paste three times so we have second one in here
So this one, it would be the costs. Here we have the profit. And here we have the profit in percentage. As you can see, we have negative value, okay? And it is mainly because of the discounts. So when we multiply the sales by the discount, we have revenue, which is less than the costs, right? We add the slicer. So basically it will be region and it will be tile, right? Put it in the center. Okay, so for the values, so I think it will be like nine. We also remove the header and we add the border white 20. Okay, so press control key and select all of them. Click on format, right? Align, align top, and align distribute horizontally. All right. So here we have our KPIs and we have our slicer. Next, we are going to create our bar chart. So a bar chart. We start with customer type, and we have the revenue. Okay. So here we have revenue by customer type like that now we're going to format that same thing we add the border so it will be white 20 and on the x-axis we remove the title right for the y-axis we remove the values and the title and we add the labels right so for the title it will be revenue by customer type in the center right we add also the colors for the bars so for the new we put navy for example and returning we put this color all right Next, we have revenue, same thing. But instead of customer type, we have the channel, right? Just change the colors. Online, same thing. And retail, same thing. So here, instead of customer type, we have sales channel okay next so copy paste here it will be done a chart and instead of customer type we have payment method right now we remove the legend Labels will be category percent of total. So the title it will be payment method, right? And same thing for the colors. So slices. So by the first one, then we have second and we have the third all right copy paste also but instead of having the payment method we have the product category right so here we have 
the product category. Same thing, we change the colors. Okay. Last one. All right. Now we can increase a little bit width, right? Select all of them. Format, align, distribute horizontally. Okay, so here we have revenue by sales channel, product category, payment method, and customer type. Next, same thing, copy paste this one. Increase like that. So here, instead of customer type, we'll have region and sales representative. Right, right here, we remove the labels. Go to the y-axis, we add the values. Okay, same thing for the x-axis, we decrease little bit the text for the title it would be by region and sales representative all right and for the colors we put navy okay and last one it will be the area chart put it here Will be revenue, right? We have the date, we have only the year and the month, okay? And we have also, let's say, the area chart. We add the profit, all right? So for the color. it maybe like that all right so we have profit same thing all right so we have the revenue and profit by date so the title it will be revenue and profit by date okay so if you close everything we have exactly the same dashboard as you can see we have an interactive dashboard right and we have the different charts so that's it for this tutorial i hope that you have learned new things thanks for watching and see you in next tutorial